Hi students, in this uh, session I am going to give solution to the test yourself question I asked in NEET preparation series day 2 from atomic structure chapter. Which one is a wrong statement? See here, first one is you have to identify the wrong statement. First one is uh, total orbital angular momentum of electron in s orbital is equal to 0. So what is the formula to calculate the orbital angular momentum I already discussed in the last in this uh, session last session square root of L into L plus 1 h by 2 pi. What is the L value for s orbital students 0. So if you substitute what you will get you will get 0 only. Na? So this statement is correct statement. Next, an orbital is designated by three quantum numbers while an electron in an atom is designated by four quantum numbers. For example, see here, atom. Atom consists of an orbit or you can say it as a shell. This is a simple way. Simple way. Atom consists of orbit or shell. Orbit consists of again subshells, right? Subshell. Subshells consists of orbitals. You can say orbitals. Again orbital where in orbital electrons are present. In this principal quantum number explains about this and azimuthal quantum number explain about subshell and magnetic quantum number gives information about the orientation of the orbitals and spin quantum number gives the information about electron where it is present in that particular orbital. So we need three quantum numbers to explain about the orbitals but to explain about the electrons how many quantum numbers completely is required for. So this statement is also correct. And coming to the electronic configuration of nitrogen in this atom. See I gave all statements correct. This is ulta. Clear? Yes. See here the electronic config. This is a real question. Okay. This, elect this electron spin is in downward direction. And here see. As per Hund's rule. Hund's rule. We, we say that according to Hund's rule. For example you want to fill 4 electrons in 2p. Then how you will fill? You fill that. E one electron in each orbital after filling ev every orbital with one one electron half filled then again you, you have to start pairing right but uh, see for nitrogen 3 is there 3 how you can how you have to fill you should follow the Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity multiplicity should uh, multiplicity should be more here for example spin you considered as plus half next also plus half next also plus half then spin will be more when if electron is present when compared to if electron is present in in this direction then for example for this spin plus plus half for this plus half this will be minus half then spin will be less so this is a more stable and correct configuration as according to Hund's rule for nitrogen atom so this is a wrong statement and the value of m for dz square is zero clear this is a wrong statement because the spin is less always you have to follow which one is having maximum multiplicity next question is which one is the wrong statement See this question student. Uh, the uncertainty principle is this is the formula given. Let us see this. What is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle? It is impossible to measure both the position as well as the momentum simultaneously with high precision. Right. The formula for this is delta P into delta X is greater than or equal to H by 4 pi. But when you are solving the problem you will use equal to and you will solve the numericals. Here what is delta P? Uncertainty in momentum. This is uncertainty. uncertainty in momentum. And this is uncertainty in position. Momentum. Uncertainty in position. What I do is to get this expression I am dividing and multiplying with the delta T. Delta T. So that delta P by delta T is equal to what? Delta F force. Delta F 
and what we got delta x is there delta f into delta x is called delta e so delta e into delta t is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi so this formula is also correct and half filled and fully filled orbitals have greater stability due to greater exchange energy and greater symmetry so this option is also correct half filled and full filled are more stable yes or no right next one the energy of 2s orbital is less than energy of 2p correct but in, not in case of hydrogen because in hydrogen the ground state is 1s and 2s and 2p are excited states when only ground state is there 1s remaining are excited states then both are having same energy but not for other cases remaining helium lithium uh, and uh, for example you can say uh, lithium beryllium and all what happens is 2s also will be there electron is present in 2s also then if electron is present in 2p orbital also then what happens is there is an 2s will be having little bit lower energy when compared to 2p only one ground state is there then it we cannot say that 2s is having lower energy than 2p then this will be your wrong option Coming to the, see this question, they gave this this option to confuse you. De Broglie wavelength is given by lambda equal to h by mb. Where m is a, h is a Planck's constant and m is a mass of the particle. And what is this groove velocity you think and you feel this is the wrong option. But groove velocity is not, nothing but the speed of the particle which is traveling. So this is also correct option. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.